Thank you for visiting Pass the Wire TV, the YouTube channel of PassTheWire.com. Hi everyone, this is Jeff Metz with Pass the Wire TV, and this morning we're here with Jessica Piper, who's the leading leading apprentice jockey at Santa Anita. Jessica, thanks for coming on. Thank you. You know, yesterday at Santa Anita, you had a four-win day. How exciting was that? Uh, I know you had live mounts all day, so how did it feel at the end of the day? Yeah, it was incredible. The last race, uh, going into it, I was just excited to have one race, really, to win. And then after the last race, I had four, and that was just a really big accomplishment. And uh, I was just so thankful and blessed. Great job at the, on all your accomplishments so far, and, and you know, f fairly short career, but you've you've done well right out of the gate. You ride for all the top barns here in Southern California, so congratulations on that. Um, I wanted to ask you about: Do you are you looking at this long term, or I know you have a little bit of a possibility of a law degree in in the back of your mind. So, how are things going right now? Yeah, it was really my plan to ride for a year, my apprenticeship year, and then go back to school, but I don't think that's happening now. <laughs> I think I'm staying in the business, and I love writing, and that's what I want to do. Cool. Well, much success, and, you know, I think the way that things are going for you, um, when do you think your apprenticeship ends? Uh, when is the timetable? Because with the momentum you have right now, I don't see the five pounds slowing you down. <laughs> I hope not, but... Um, November 13th, I think, is my last day as an apprentice. So I have all through Del Mar and then San Anita and back to Del Mar. Great. I mean, your your family's in racing, your mom and, and your dad and everything. So uh, it's it's uh, a lot like my family. You know, we're all in the racing game and, and we love it. So, you know, we're, we're close friends with you guys and, and it's nice to see your success. We're very happy for you. And, you know, something that uh, I'll mention to you that was said yesterday, it you know, Jessica can come off the pace. And yesterday in the last race, you nailed him at the wire. Did you know you had that much horse coming down the lane? Uh, that was the fastest I've ever come down the lane on a horse for sure. Uh, she just exploded when I got her in the clear. And I just was trying to get to the wire as fast as I can. And she really gave me that power to get there. And I think I, I, think I knew I got it, but I didn't want to second guess myself or um, think that I had gotten beat because that kills you when you realize that you got beat <laughs> when you think you won. So. Yeah, those close ones, whether you're a trainer or a jockey, you know, when you lose by that much, or you win, when you win by that much, it's not it's so great. bad. Yeah. But, but when you lose by just a nose, it's very disheartening because you know that horse ran a winning race yeah. and uh, you just hope that everything will come back in place and, and the horse can do well again. Yeah. But um, what are some of the things that you like to do off the track when you're not race riding? I golf a lot. Um, love golf. And uh, I have a personal trainer. I work out at the gym three times a week. So I have that as well. And then family. Excellent. And uh, you have a hunter jumper background. Do you think that has helped you at all with some of your race riding? I think it has a lot. Um, I've heard people say when I, I get horses to switch leads really nicely. And I think that comes from the hunter jumper world as well. And really just understanding the horse and um, the bridle and how to hold one that's strong. And I think that really comes into play too. Great. You know, you're probably known as a, a great front running rider. You get out of the gate really well. And I think, you know, from the jumpers, you're able to get that first jump on the competition. Mm -hmm. And you usually have your horse in a position and then those light hands take you from there. And then nowadays... Um, you know, you're always going to hear, well, a woman's not as strong as a man. But the thing is now with the, the whip rule in California, that's really taken away some of the real strength of the men. And, you know, I'm not trying to have any bias here, but I would just say I think that levels the playing field for you. And yeah. so some of these jockeys that are, you know, a man is going to be stronger than a woman. And these seasoned jockeys. So I think that this is really the timing has, has done well for you. Yeah. And... Um, how, how do you like the whipping rule? Um, I think it was easier for me because I didn't have to switch from one style to another. I just started with that style. Um, so that part has been a little easier, but it's not when you're on a horse. Um, I've gotten fined $4,000 <laughs> since I started riding just for over whipping one time. 
and it's really hard when you're in the heat of the battle to count and try to keep count of how many times or else you'll get fined a thousand dollars so it's been hard but I think we're all adapting to it and I really tried to get myself to the strength that the other guys are at because I knew it would be harder for me and um, I think that's working out pretty well and then we'll just close on this final note that um, yesterday after the last race, uh, this is something that I think is a signature Jessica move, is after the race, you were just petting that horse <laughs> in the winter circle, showing it the love and the appreciation for, for the, you know, they just give you their all down the lane. So it's it's very nice to see. And um, I hear rumor you got quite a fan base at the track. They like to follow you from the winter circle back to the jock room and just cheer you on. So yeah. congratulations Thank on you. that. Thank and, you. Uh, so keep up the good work, keep going, and uh, I see big things in your future, and you're all right, already riding for Hall of Fame trainers, so much success down the road. Thank you so much. Gino Rosso has taken the lead, and it's a vintage performance by Vino Rosso! Nobody does it better.